can obviously all say yes, so I'll say no. Yeah. All right. Who says and no again? Hold on, we're, we're running, so it's going to be three, two, and let's go. Okay, so um, I think that uh, Cleveland is the obvious favorite to win, but I really feel like they're not going to make the easiest transition to the finals. Like, uh, I think a team that will be in their way is uh, Chicago. Yeah, I agree. Chicago right now to me looks like the best team defensively. Uh, I like Derrick Rose back in the lineup. He has to be 100% healthy. Uh, I'm not agreeing with people who say the 80, the 90, the 95%. I think if, if they want to win, Derrick Rose has to be 100% because they're just not great enough offensively to to make it to the finals and actually win. So I think they all have to be healthy in that lineup. Right. For the past five years or so, there have been one man that has dominated the Eastern Conference. That's LeBron James. Um, it will continue, and it won't stop anytime soon. So I believe that whatever team he's on, regardless if it's Miami or Cleveland, they will be going to the Eastern Conference Final. And Zane, that's what I say. Zane Cleveland? I think Cleveland's going to have a bit of an issue, especially yeah. gelling with a new team. Uh, they have a new coach who's established in the Euro League, but he's coming into an entirely new league. New players on the team, guys who are unfamiliar with playoff games. I think Chicago's going to give them a good test. I think it's their time to win the East. So I guess we have the Central figured out. Uh, it's going to be Cleveland Toronto battling out. Let's move to the Atlantic, where the hometown Toronto Raptors, coming off their first title in five years or whatever it's been, do you guys think that they're going to come out as champs again in the Atlantic? No doubt. Who's going to be I believe the team that knocked us out, the, uh, the Brooklyn, Brooklyn Nets. Nets, I think they still have their bringing back, you know, Brook Lopez, even though he's injured right now, he will come back. Mason Plumlee improved a lot, so I think they have a lot of pieces that can go ahead and win the night. Maybe Melo in the Knicks, maybe? I'm not sold on the Knicks. <laughs> um, I'm not sold oh, on the Knicks. I think they have a, the head coach who had, does have zero coaching experience. Yeah. They have Phil Jackson, but I think it's going to take them a while to learn the triangle offense. Uh, losing Tyson Chandler is a big thing, so it really falls on Melo's shoulders to carry them. I can see them making the playoffs, but not winning the division. What about your boy, Jose Calderon? He's my boy, but he can't work magic and win the Atlantic. Who's the <laughs> defensive stopper? Honestly, who's, who's Amari Stoudemire. No, I mean, you really, I, when you no really think other. about it, when it comes down to the division, who really cares? I mean, I understand that we want these guys to win the division, but at the end of the day, it matters where they are in the standings, so who they're going to be going up in the first round. Yeah. I mean, that's really all that matters. You want to be in the in the top four because you want home court advantage. Yeah. And, and really, that's what you should be you should be focused on. That includes winning the division. It, it includes winning the division. But they don't. They don't. I, I fully expect them to because the teams that are in their division right now, Brooklyn, Boston, New York, and Philly. I mean, come on. Yeah. Well, Boston and Philly are definitely going to be terrible this year. Brooklyn's the only other team right now that I think has a legit chance of actually matching the Raptors for that first place in the division. Yeah. Yeah. New York, nobody knows what to expect from those guys. Mm -hmm. But right now, I'm not sold on them. They could wow us, but that's not going to happen. If I know Holland's coming in from Memphis, we all like to watch Memphis play team built on defense and interior play. Maybe he comes in, he changes in the culture. Maybe. They Maybe. need something. <laughs> Maybe they need something. I mean, yeah. the consistent defensive play. Their defensive player is, what, 36 years old now? Old, I think it's 38. Garnett? Yeah, 38. Yeah, 38. I mean, Joe Johnson, we, we saw what Joe Johnson did to the Raptors in the playoffs, but I mean, Darren Williams, another guy, Brooke Lopez, like you mentioned, if he stays healthy, just like Derrick Rose, you know what I mean, then then maybe they're in the argument, but right now, I really don't see them. And Kirilenko and Allen Anderson there, still with that veteran yeah. leadership, those yeah. are guys yeah. that are solid. One guy, Sean Livingston, who actually did a really good job against the Raptors last yes, year, he did. in the first round, I think he'll be a you know, big difference. He's going to be helping out your boy, Steve Kerr, because he's in Golden State now. <laughs> Exactly. Right. Yeah. So that's that, that's yeah. another guy that we kind of yeah. have to look out for. Yeah, sure. yeah. But he was a great piece for that team. Yeah, he was. He was. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's just I, I'd be bold. I'll put my money on the Raptors for sure. Oh, the Atlantic King, I think. Yeah. Too long, man. Yeah. I said 